Hello traders, FS Perfecto here. Today is Tuesday, January 9th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the US dollar monthly, I still think this is a one, two, and I still believe we're in a wave three. I still believe this is going to go up and make a three, a four, and a five. I think it's most likely going to be an expanding flat, which means it's probably is going to go up and take out these highs and end up looking something like that. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think it is very clear that this right here is an uptrend wave one. I think this is an expanding flat wave two because the wave B was a higher high than the wave one. The wave C was a lower low than the wave C. Definitely three waves down, definitely three waves up, and five waves down. It fits very, very well to be an expanding flat wave two, which means that this is most likely already in a wave three, and I believe on this weekly time frame, it will continue to make higher lows, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and just keep on trending up in that wave three. So going down to the daily time frame, Daily time frame, it definitely looks like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shape. So most likely this is a 1 of 3. I bet right now we're in an A of an A, B, C correction, which I believe will go to either the 50 or the 61.8. Most likely an A, B, C of 2. And then eventually, once that's complete, I think it will go back up for a wave 3. I believe this to be a 1 of uh, one of 3, a 2 of 3, and a wave 3 of wave 3. So, taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, 4 hour time frame, it looks like we already have a complete trend right here, it looks like we already have a wave A, I still think that we need to have a little bit more upside potential, I think it may go down and take out that low before it does go up, but I think it needs to make an A, B, C of wave B. Probably go up to at least the 50 to 61.8 before it actually does make a bigger move to the downside to make the wave C, just like what I was showing on the daily time frame. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it is definitely stretching out a little bit as you can see. Now we are for sure going down, so I would be watching my Fibonacci retracements. I'd be watching for a bounce off a of Fibonacci level, a big engulfing impulsive move to the upside. I think the most likely place for that to happen is probably the 61.8 or maybe the 78. If you see that big impulsive engulfing move to the upside at a Fib level, then I would definitely take that as a long, because at that point it probably is going to go up and make a wave C of wave B most likely before it makes that bigger move down for the bigger wave C like I was explaining on the higher time frames because this should be a wave A, this should be an A, B, C, or B, and eventually it should go down and make that bigger wave C. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.